Okay, uh, give Syracuse credit. I thought they played uh, well, made shots, and uh, um, made it uh, made it difficult for us to score, uh, certainly around the rim. Um, but uh, felt good about our looks, felt good about getting to the line. Most disappointing thing for the night was our defensive effort. So give Syracuse credit. We'll learn from it and move on. Chris, if you had to grade the way your teams played through the first seven games going into Big Ten play, what grade would you give them? Um, you know, I think that's, I, I'm not sure. Um, I, I kind of, you, you kind of feel it would be pretty skewed based on tonight. Um, and again, I just didn't love our, our defensive effort tonight. So the grade, uh, wouldn't be a good one. Um, but, uh, we've had some good moments, but we, we got to get better from here. You know, I, I've, I've, our team knows we've got a long ways to go. I don't think they think anything other than that. Um, you know, I think we we got beat by a better team tonight and and we just we need to play better and we need to coach better and, and we'll learn from it and move on. Is part of the defense at all maybe frustration carrying over from the other end of the floor when it's when it's so taxing to try to score against this team? Yeah, I, I think that's part of it. Um, you know, even though we talked about it going into it, you know, the, their pace uh, they're really dangerous offensively, but their pace is um, its really deliberate and both offensively and defensively. And uh, um, I think we did get frustrated missing some looks that you'd hope that you, you, you could make, whether it was around the basket uh, or open threes. But, you know, they do a good job covering those things up, too, with their length. They're extremely long. And, and they seem to – I know they, they shot it really well in general, but they seem to – really attack you guys off the dribble. And did, did you anticipate that they might try to do that coming yeah. in? Yeah, yeah, we did. I mean, it was uh, um, a heavy space isolation with their best players um, and allowing those guys to, to, to kind of go to work on your guys. And, um, you know, you got to be able to stop that or else they're going to keep doing it. What specifically about the defensive effort didn't you like? Well, I just think in general, you know, top to bottom, um, maybe the best thing we, I think we, our defensive rebound was okay, but I just think we just weren't as active as we needed to be. And, uh, I take responsibility for that. We just, we have to be way more active than what we were and just way more active. Again, give them credit. They made shots. They've got good players. They're a really good team, but, um, we need to make it harder on them than what we did. It was part of the disappointing, disappointing part for you was early in the game. It seemed like you guys sort of had it. And then as the game dragged on, it didn't seem as much. No, I never. You never feel like you have it early in the game, um, because it's such a long game, um, and I don't think you ever feel like you have the game where you want it until it's really out of hand. And I never felt like that at this point. I don't think our players did. They recognized that this was going to be a long game, and it was going to be there was going to be some ebbs and flows to it. You're obviously still learning this team. As you got prepared for this game going through practice, did you sense anything that told you that maybe the effort wouldn't be what you would want? Did you see anything in, in practice the last few days? No, no. And I, 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 I you know, defensive effort uh, is more was more uh, my frustration um, because I think we did have some good effort plays in other areas, um, but I just think our commitment on that end um, did I sense that? No. Um, not necessarily, but uh, you know they took advantage of us. They really uh, took advantage of, of getting in the lane, and then they made sh they made more shots. They certainly made more threes than they they've made. But that's that's what good teams do. And do you have any update on Luther? Um, it's a dislocation, um, shoulder dislocation, um, and beyond that, I don't have any other information. He's being evaluated. Uh, um, but uh, it's a shoulder dislocation, so we're hopeful um, that he's going to, you know, recover. We'll, we'll know more later. Do you feel like this was kind of a learning experience for Caleb Wesson, especially on the offensive glass, just maybe not having his shot fall through, but the amount of second chance points he had, kind of those second opportunities just not connecting on those? Um, yeah, I mean, I think he probably, you know, Caleb's a great kid. He's, he's going to look at this and say, okay, how can I get better? Um, I'm, I doubt he's had may, may any, maybe no one for eight nights in his career, um, even dating back to high school, I would think. Um, I thought he did a really good job in the high post. 
um, passing the ball. Um, and I thought he got the ball around the rim and our teammates got it to him in good spaces. He created a lot of fouls. Um, but he's, you know, his finishing in traffic is something that we've been working with him on and we just need to continue to work with him on it. Did you feel at any point, maybe not, but did you feel at any point there was a size difference for your team, especially down low? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Felt, felt that the whole night, not, not just down low. Their, yeah. their length is significant. Uh, it's a significant difference. You know, their starting lineup is, is a long, big group. Yeah, I felt that the whole night. If there's a mystique to their zone, which has been built up over 40 some years since Bayham has been there, um, is there something that makes it different than any other 2 3 matchup zone? No, it's just it's their base defense, so it, that makes it a little bit unique. Um, uh, uh, Coach Bayham does a terrific job making adjustments. Um, in the zone, terrific job making adjustments. You know, we got them on a few set plays, but you don't get them on that more than once or twice. Um, to be honest with you, I, I felt pretty good about our zone attack. I really did. Uh, that's not what got us beat tonight. Um, it was more on the on the defensive end and, and the fact that we struggled finishing and, and probably you could throw in, if you're going to throw anything else offensively, our free throw shooting. Can a win like this be a good learning or teaching tool as you go into Big Ten play on, on Sunday? Is this something you can use to prepare for that like style? This. Just, just to prepare for that style of play? Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we take from – I would hope that we would learn from any – every single win and loss. You know, you're constantly trying to um, figure out ways that, 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 that we can improve and – Listen, we got a gauntlet here. We have a very, very good and talented Minnesota team. Um, and there's no question we're going to need to play better. Um, and uh, as a coaching staff, we need to do a better job getting our guys ready. Because you have such a new roster this year, are you at all curious to see how this particular group kind of responds from their first their first trip up, I guess? Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think our, our guys felt like um, – you know, I think they're smart enough to know, given our schedule, that there were going to be some lumps along the way, and there's going to be plenty. And how we learn from it and how we grow is 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 going to be critical. Um, and we'll we'll evaluate the film and 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 uh, bring some closure to it. But we we got to we we have to get a lot better. You know, we got exposed in a lot of areas. Um, but again, I don't want to take anything away from Syracuse because I thought they they did a terrific job tonight. Chris, you guys had it at, at six with about two minutes left, and Kyle got stopped at the rim. Looked like maybe you guys goal thought tend. it was goaltending. Goaltend. Did uh, yeah? He how much did that sap the energy out of you guys? Not uh, the well, you mean the fact that it was a goaltend and wasn't yeah, called? Yeah, yeah. You were making a comeback, and you had two points taken away. I mean, it, you know, that was significant. A four-point game with two minutes to go. Um, I'm not saying we would have won the game or lost the game, but the ball did hit the glass first. Um, um, you know, it's a bang bang call. Uh, it's a, it, it, it is a it's a tough call in that situation because of how quickly it happens. Uh, but uh, it, it you know, like certainly we were making a little bit of a run there. But you got to be tough enough to respond to that. And then just just watching Syracuse create a little bit off the dribble, like you were saying earlier. Do, do you have enough of that on your team offensively? Do you need more guys who can you know dribble, penetrate, and kick whatever? Uh, you know, you could make that argument. They, they have uh, a variety, as you've seen with the roster, of, of uh, a bigger wings, you know, kind of 6'5", the 6'8", guys that uh, are terrific at doing that. And then you combine that with the fact that those guys who had not really made shots, you know, made threes tonight, um, makes, it, makes it difficult to guard them. Um, but... I still think our effort and our activity could be better than what it was, and I think that was what was most disappointing. Um, but um, you know, they have really talented wings. They can go. They can go get buckets. You've talked a lot about learning about this team through adversity and things you can't simulate in practice. Creighton put a late run on you. You guys responded. Cincinnati did the same. Did you sense anything different tonight as as uh, Syracuse put that run on you in the second half? Did it feel any different in the huddle or in not timeouts? really? No, not really. I, I do I do think that you're always interested in evaluating uh, your team um, 
how how we handle um, adversity in the midst of the game and how do we handle it in the midst of a season. And uh, it's coming our way. Um, we're going to experience a lot of it this year, I think. Um, and uh, I'm interested to see how this group, I've said it, you guys have asked me over and over, what's your biggest question? It's it's the leadership in that moment. What, what are we, how are we going to respond? And uh, time will tell for us all. Okay. I just wanted to ask real quick.